The Dodgers have swung a trade for infielder, kind of outfielder, Kevin Biggio from the Blue Jays, who was recently DFA'd. We're going to talk quickly about what it means for the Dodgers, what it means for the active roster, and all that kind of reaction stuff on another edition of the All Dodgers Podcast. First, my name is Clint Pasillas. Find me as Real FRG on the social media platforms if you're looking to follow more people on there. I'm a longtime baseball writer, Dodgers editor, Dodgers analyst, all that kind of stuff here on the internet machine. And I do it here on my All Dodgers YouTube channel. More places than not these days. So subscribe if you don't mind. It's completely free. We're trying to get to 7,000 subscribers. But let's talk Kevin Biggio real quick. The Dodgers swing the trade for the recently designated for insi- assignment infielders. Mostly played second base in his career. He has played some third base where he could fit into the Dodgers' plans, in my opinion. Uh, career 270, uh, sorry, 227 hitter, 48 uh, show bump. As Jerry Hairston might call them, 48 home runs in his career, 178, 176 numbers are hard this morning, 176 career RBI. Um, this is a guy who's one of those glove first players. He is a very good defender. He's a premium defender around the diamond, but the bat isn't really there still. With that in mind, he's currently slashing 200, 323 with a 291 uh, slugging. So it's a total uh, 614 OPS, and that's better than I think it was four current Dodgers on the active roster. But really with that, you're looking at, you're focusing in on Chris Taylor and Kike Hernandez, who have been getting a lion's share. He's been getting the lion's share of time at third base where... I got to tell you, I got to do a little housekeeping. I got to tell you about Bet Online. It's your number one source for the NBA Finals, the Stanley Cup Finals. That's what's going on right now in the sports season. Every stat, every matchup, even live odds when the games are being played. When the game's over, you can head on over to their online casino, get in on a game of blackjack, poker, unwind with one of the over 150 slot games they have. Bet Online. Head to the website today. Get in on the action. Do not forget to use the promo code believe b l e a v to get a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit bet online the game starts here let's now look at how this guy fits in how biggio fits in to the equation i think the dodgers look at this guy as one somebody to take some uh time at third base give him some some chances there while my, max muncie remains out for the bare minimum another month. It also affords the opportunity for the team to send uh, Miguel Vargas back to AAA, which is not going to be um, well received, we'll say, but Vargas is barely playing at the big league level right now. Vargi has got to get some at-bats in. He's got to be out there playing, having a good time, looking good, feeling good, and he's going to have to do that at Oklahoma City. So, the quick reaction is it's it's not really a, a massive step forward, but I think the thing I like most about this transaction is it's a, it's a very low risk, high reward thing, but mostly it lights a fire under some guy's asses. I think maybe this is one of those, oh crap, the writing is kind of on the wall situations or additions for the Dodgers. Kike Hernandez is on a one-year deal. Um you know, everything he's done in his Dodgers career has been in the past. He's not doing a whole lot for the organization right now. So if they needed to part ways, they could kind of stomach it. It's not ideal. Maybe they find a way to to trade him, to honor him or something like that. Of course, uh, Chris Taylor is owed a lot of money, still under contract and and has a, uh, a team option after next season. Uh, so he's owed a lot of money. He's not somebody who they would very easily DFA, but also at the time we're recording this, he's hitting about 100. So... Uh, I'm sorry, Chris, you got to either figure it out or find a new job. And maybe that's kind of what the Dodgers are are, uh, telegraphing here with an addition like Kevin Biggio. It's a for now deal. It's not a forever deal. Um, 
you know, we saw the Dodgers last year make the acquisition for for uh, Colton Wong, who did end up making the the postseason roster, but not much of a difference in anything. They do this. This is what this organization does. They find uh, the they try to find diamonds in the rough. They try to get some cast off some organiza- uh, other organizations. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. We've seen it work with guys like currently Anthony Bonda, who's doing very very good in this Dodgers bullpen. But all that said, I'm not excited. About Kevin Biggio, uh, I think he's a fine for now guy. That's about it. I want to know your guys' thoughts. Again, very quick edition of the Al Dodgers podcast here. We'll find out more. Uh, when it comes to the 40-man roster, I've seen some people talk. Oh, excuse me, talking about... Um, uh, well, quickly, when it comes to the 40-man the roster for uh, Kevin Biggio, I've seen some people talking about uh, the, you know, the potential for putting somebody on the 60-day IL. The Dodgers are th- currently at 39 people, 39 players on the 40-man roster, so they are fine. They don't need to uh, make any moves, any transactions to uh, add Kevin Biggio to the roster. And one last note that I did not mention, the, the Dodgers traded minor league right-handed pitcher Braden Fisher. He was a uh, 20, uh, 2018 draft pick. Not really somebody that's going to factor into the equation for the Dodgers, so he is on the way out. But yeah, I want to know your guys' thoughts. What do you think about Kevin Biggio? Uh, is this a precursor to maybe something bigger, better, uh, more exciting down the road? And, you know, more exciting could be a Chris Taylor DFA, a uh, Kike Hernandez trade, or, you know, hey, let's go pie in the sky. Let's go crazy. Let's say a Nolan Arenado trade, because why not? Let's have some fun. Let's say a Luis Robert trade. Why not? Let's have some fun. But again, I want you guys to sound off in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you listen on the podcast side, I hope you consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Hope you consider subscribing to the podcast if you have not. Leave a rating, leave a review. If you're looking for a different way to uh, support the channel beyond just subscribing, I have set up YouTube members. I have a Patreon. There's a couple little perks in uh, in with those um, those tiers, I guess is what we'll call them. So check them out if you are interested or don't if you're not. My name is Clint Basias. Find me as Real FRG on the social media. As all Dodgers is presented by Bet Online. The game starts here, and I'll see you on the next one.